And I don't know if uh, I'll announce our player to the bottom left. I don't know if you caught that. It's MC, he attacked his Nexus with his probes by mistake for just a second at the beginning of the game. A little bit weird, but it looks like everything is okay. <laughs> And spawning up to the top right hand corner here as our pink Terran once again. Currently one game up, he goes by the name of MKP. Yep, and this is of course game number two. First player to take three wins goes to Paris. MKP takes the lead. And I wonder what build we're going to see from on this map. I love the build he chose last game with the double Tech Lab Marauders. Yeah. Cost you a lot more gas to laser medevacs, but you have a much stronger push. Nobody is really doing that, uh, I feel like, except Marine King. You see it sometimes. I think I saw Bomber do it once uh, in the past few weeks, but this is a new style that's emerging right now. Yeah, it's it's really actually quite tough uh, to deal with uh, because you get a really, really nice mix of uh, Marines and Marauders to the point where, well, so early on to the point where you know, you can't just have a... If you don't mix your Stalkers, Sentries, and Zealots right as well, uh, especially on a map like Ohana, where technically you can actually choke off that force, uh, force field point really, really nicely, uh, then you find yourself in a very, very odd spot. And, you know, MC didn't, didn't control it properly. MKP took great advantage, and for now, he's deviating things up a little bit. Yeah. Here's something to wonder about, though. MKP takes gas this time. Once more, MC won't be able to see what's going on inside. But with the gas, I wonder what we're going to see. Are we going to see that drop play with Hellions and Marines? This depot is getting really low. It does block it. Uh, that bit always makes me cringe. I've, I, once in a ladder game, I was able to break that depot, but never again. <laughs> yeah, I've never been able to break that depot. Not even once, actually, I will confess. It, it's a lot of fun when it happens. Trust me. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, yeah. do you have that one zealot on the way just to make sure no engineering bay craziness goes down? It is natural. And it will indeed be the factory option. So MKP here. Uh, I would love to see him go for some mega crazy one base drop play. Actually, you know what he might do? He might actually proxy the Stargate. We saw him do that against Hero uh, and go for four Hellions with straight into uh, Starport just to really, really throw off his opponent. And it could be devastating. Yeah, he has a second fat, or second gas going up. The reactor is down. I could see that. With the second gas, put the starport up, reactor out some Hellions, and or and or Marines, depending on what you want to do. There's a lot of different variations of this style. But it's going to do damage to MC no matter what. The question is how much damage is going to be done. MC doing the exact same build we saw him do last game. You know, send the Zealot out, get some information, then go double stalker. He's checking both locations, the north and the south, one with the probe, one with the stalker, just to make sure Marine King isn't hiding anything right now. And there's a good reason he's doing this, because he knows, A, he knows Marine King, and, uh, you know, B, checking for all of those eventualities is so important. But right now, Marine King is metagaming the metagaming and is just putting his starport in base. Again, this is exactly the same build he did against uh, Liquid Hero in the round of 16, and the Stargate was proxied. So MC taking precautions against that, but unfortunately won't find anything. Yeah, he does not find anything. And we are going to have not only Hellions, but also uh, Medivac with a Tech Lab here. means he's going to follow up with Banshees beyond this. So he's going to do a three-step harass process, basically. The first step is to send these Hellions over here, see if he can find anything. And the second step is going to be the drop. Man, his multi-pronged harass with the Hellions and the Marines are coming out of this barracks. And then finally, he's going to have Cloak Banshees. So MC is going to have to deal with all three. That is actually... Whoa, that's really quite scary. I didn't even realize that he was going to go into Cloak as well. But there you go. It's, it's pretty impressive that that is going to actually hit here. MC has got so much preparation he needs to do. He's preparing really well with his Stalkers. They're in great positions uh, to eventually stop this kind of drop play. Because MC, again, he knows MKP. These guys, it was funny, because they, they turned up to IEM Cologne with one another uh, in December. Was it December? Or was it? Yeah, December. And it was a League of Legends event. There was no StarCraft 2 going on, but they just turned up and they were there. So I was like, well. Yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of fun playing that game. Here come the Hellions. They're going to have a lot of fun playing this game of Kill the Probes. 
Unfortunately for Rinking, though, he doesn't kill as many probes as he would have liked to. He does get six, actually. Yeah. Uh, more than I expected. I thought like he only got like three or four there, but it was actually six. That's fine. Yeah, it was a really good defense, actually, by MC. He knew it was coming. He anticipated it. He knows M uh, MKP, so MC doing really well there. But does he anticipate this Banshee follow-up? I think... Well, where's his first observer? Is this his first observer? It is. It's rallied over to the other side of the map, but it's going to come out at a time that is going to be very, very helpful against his Banshee. Yep, going for sentries first, and now going for probes. He knows he's got a limited amount of time. He goes, knocks those probes down, and in total, Rinking has now killed nine harvesters. But MC, he's got to deal with the next wave. This I said this was a three-part harassment, but the part four of this story is the push that comes with Siege Tanks. This is not Heart of the Storm, so you actually will have to research Siege Mode. If he wants to, he could just do this with Tank Mode. We've seen this before as well. Beyond has done this in the past, pulling the SCVs now. Wow. And, you know, one th one aspect of this that is really brutal here is that sometimes when you go for that drop harassment with Hellions, you end up losing the medevac. But because MKP did not lose the medevac, on a map like this that has so much terrain to exploit and drop your, opponent, your units in there, normally... Uh, sometimes there isn't actually a medevac with this push, and he can easily, easily use those dynamics to full advantage here. Yeah, he can also repair with those SCVs, and the medevac can heal. So, I mean, that's just another added advantage that you have here. If he scans and kills the Observer, these Cloak Banshees are going to do so much more as well. He has to make sure he maintains the perfect ratio of anti-air units with the Banshees here, and deal with the Siege Tanks. The probes are trapped. The Banshees go for the Immortal. This is so smart. Where is the Observer? Oh, it died it's off. totally out of position. There was one that died off, yeah, and the other two are just miles away right now. These two Banshees doing so much damage, killing off sentries where they may, and this, oh, the Nexus has gone down. MKP is in an amazing situation right now, dropping a few units once again, actually, trying to constantly go for this. This SCV is soaking up so much damage. These two Banshees, 10 kills and two kills apiece. So good. The Observer finally is here, but will it be enough with these Marines chewing up everything? It just doesn't look like it. GG. And when you are in a situation where you're facing this push, it's so, so difficult to maintain the right amount of anti-air and also have enough units to deal with those huge tanks. He lost the Immortal. Losing that Observer and not having vision of the Cloak Banshees was really the nail in the coffin. Without or With the Observer, it's so hard to defend, but without it, it's basically impossible.